sets does B flat major have? Five. Five. B flat, E flat, A flat. What have I done wrong? You're going the wrong way. The A flat is too high, isn't it? A flat, D flat, G flat. What'd you say? Five or six? Five. All right. So we have five. Then there is uh, G flat major. How many is that going to be? Six. Six. B flat in, in the space clef, isn't it? B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. If you, if, if you come in prepared and know this stuff, it won't take you very long. If you have to keep recreating things you have kind of learned each time, you're going to get behind. And I don't suppose any of you are going to want to come back during spring break and finish the test. So we got to get it done tomorrow, right? I'll come see you during spring break this week. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and then B major. How many sharps? Five. Five, thank you. And it, is that treble or bass clef? Treble? F sharp, right? Mm. Okay, but I wrote it there. Is everybody going to let me write it there? No. Please don't write it there. We never write an F sharp there. Thank you. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. Okay? And then F sharp major and bass clef. Six. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp. Now, remember that if you get sloppy, let me see if I got sloppy on anything. Well, of course not. I'm perfect. Um, but if you intend for this to be an F sharp, it will not count. Okay? That really is an E sharp. It has to bear the F sharp line inside its square or diamond or whatever you want to call it. That's the only way I'll count it as an F sharp is if the F line is inside there. Okay? You get the idea on this one, I hope. Piece of cake. I, have I forgotten to tell you about um, the extra page I'm putting in? <coughs> I'll tell you about the extra page I'm putting in at the end. All right. Now, these things, the, um, these final things, there are 15 intervals that you have to know. Hopefully, you'll be able to figure this out. Let's start with the perfect fourth. What is a pitch above an F that is a perfect fourth? B flat. It is B flat, that's correct. How many different ways can we say, or say we know how that is? B flat is in the key of F, that's one. Or we can go over here and we can say, uh, I need five half steps. Let's go F to F sharp is one. F sharp to G is two. G to G sharp is three. G sharp to A is four. And A to B flat is five. Probably would have been smarter if I had gone flats all the way, wouldn't it? But anyway, we've got five half steps. All right. Again, if you're going to do the counting thing, you better really get on your horse. Drink several energy drinks before you come in. So that you can go fast. Minor sixth above D is what? B flat. Very good. Why is it not a B? Well, okay, but we don't know our D minor scales yet. <laughs> but we do know our major scales, right? And there's a B in the D major scale. That makes B the major sixth. We're looking for minor, so we have to lower the half, okay? All right, and then major third above A in the bass clef is what? C sharp. C sharp indeed. An augmented second above F. C sharp. Good, whoever said G sharp. Now remember, you cannot cram that onto the top of the F. There is not enough space to put a G sharp here. The sharp goes first, so it's F like that, then G sharp beside it. Actually, that's one way. Most of the time in publishers and piano music, we'll actually try to mess your, with your mind 
and do that. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, it does take up less space, and that's why they do it. But the dangerous thing when you're playing the piano is that you see all of that and think maybe you should play an F sharp, even though um, by rule that is a G sharp. So, that, so either way is acceptable. I think Splanky is a tune where they tacked all of the sharp, all the accidentals on ledger lines down way below the staff, where you can't tell can't, which one is which. Yeah, you can't tell which one is which. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a dangerous thing to get into. It's not for Chris. No, not for Chris, but for <laughs> other not so wise, it could it's be dangerous. Diminished fifth above E. This one can be done harmonically. What is it? I wrote it on the board. <laughs> B flat, thank you. Yes. All right. And then minor seventh above E is just plain D. All right. Where's the double clap? Sorry. Major sixth above A is what? Don't forget to catch your alphabet first. A, B, C, D, E, F is the sixth. It's some kind of F. Is there an F in the A scale? Oh, there's an F sharp. There is not an F in the A scale. There's an F sharp in the A scale. So that a major sixth must be F sharp. There's uh, Now they want a perfect fifth above A flat. What do you remember about perfect fifths? They are perfect, yes. Except B to F, all of them are perfect. So if A to E is a perfect fifth, then subtract one from each and you'll still have a perfect fifth. A flat to E flat would be an also a perfect fifth. Okay? I'm still very nervous. A diminished eighth. There's an octave. How do we diminish it? A flat. That is correct. Be sure and count the octave first before you count the half steps. Otherwise, you could end up with G sharp, which would sound the same, but would actually be a major seventh. Augmented third above G is what? Yes. Uh, this is different than the interval. Right, the, the interval um, oh, okay. of an augmented is, is, what you're talking about is the diminished seventh chord. Yeah. Okay. Which is, I'm not with you. Right, E flat, G flat, and then A double flat. Sorry about that. That's all right, that's all right. A double flat, which is a, dimin a diminished seventh. And that's, what, and that's why we call it a fully diminished seventh, because not only is the triad diminished, but the seventh, which would have been some sort of B, and it is still some sort of B, except it's a B double flat, which sounds like A, is the second half of that fully diminished seventh. Okay. All right, so A, or sorry, G to B, what? Can't be just plain B, that's a major third sharp. B sharp is correct. Diminished fifth above B flat. Who wants to walk us all the way through how you get the F flat? <laughs> that that would work. You can count your alphabet up to F, and then you can handily draw a keyboard on your test paper. I don't care. Um, you may draw anything on there. You may write all of the things you remember. In fact, if you write out your sharps and flats or something like that, 